What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, unified, three belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five, pound for pound best fighters in the world. And Earl the Truth Spence Jr., who holds a record of 28 wins, no loss, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, 5'9", with a 72-inch arm each. He puts on his promoter hat as he has man down promotions and he promotes undefeated, lightweight, star, title contender, Frank the Ghost Martin, who has a record of 17 wins, no loss, no draw. 12 wins by way of knockout, 28 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch arm age, and he's a southpaw, a very slick southpaw. With that said, Frank Martin is coming off the biggest win of his career. He beat uh, Michelle Rivera, Michelle Ali Rivera, who was coming in that fight, 24 wins, no losses, no draws. Uh, Michelle Ali Rivera, 14 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 foot 9 with a 71 inch arm age. And he also beat Jackson Mourinhoz before that. Okay, so he came off two big wins. And Errol Spence, he said he wants him to fight this man. Undefeated Olympic silver medalist, two-division world champion, former unified WBC, WBO, super featherweight world champion, superstar boxer, now lightweight title contender, Shakur Stevenson who has a record of 20 wins, no loss and no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch arm reach, and he too is a southpaw. So Shakur Stevenson is a southpaw, 5'8", 68 inch arm reach, and as well as Frank Martin. And so he was asked about a fight with Keyshawn Davis, Devin Haney, Lomachenko winner, and Errol Spence said he wants to see the fight with Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson. He stated that uh, Frank Martin won't get no money and no recognition beating Keyshawn Davis. And he stated that, you know, uh, waiting around for the winner, Devin Haney Lomachenko, seems far off. And Shakur Stevenson, who recently fought, uh, Shakur Stevenson is available. So he said that's the fight he wants to make. Now, obviously, there's some hurdles there because Shakur Stevenson is with legendary promoter, top ranked CEO, Bob Arum, ESPN and top rank. And Frank Martin, he is with, you know, man down promotions, but he's also with the PBC premier Boston champion, founding advisor, Al Heyman, Showtime, Showtime president, sports, Steven Espinosa. So it's difficult to make that fight happen, uh, seeing as though there's no um, serious uh, um implications on the line there's no belt on the line there's no um you know mandatory there's no so without those things there's no reason to make this fight right now uh and one thing that stood out was that earl spence he said because ak from ak and barack was was present in this interview uh what which was done by es news and he stated that ak said you might want to keep Frank Martin away from Shakur. And Errol Spence says Shakur is definitely like that. He's definitely that dude. But we don't know if he that dude until somebody gets in there and makes him uncomfortable. And he says that somebody has to do it. And Frank Martin is the man to do it. Frank Martin can get in the ring and make Shakur Stevenson uncomfortable. Because Ox said, you know, Shakur Stevenson is getting more and more comfortable by the day, by the fight. And Errol Spence, he agreed. He said Shakur Stevenson is definitely that dude. He's definitely some somebody to be, uh, you know, uh, on the lookout for. But he believes, obviously, in his fighter who he trains with, who trains with his uh, well-renowned two-time trainer of the year, future Hall of Famer, and Derrick James. So he stated that, you know, um, that would be something, you know, that he believes Frank Martin can do, which is make Shakur Stevenson uncomfortable. As far as the fight itself goes, can Shakur Stevenson be made uncomfortable by Frank Martin's style? Um, I don't think so. I think that the movement of Frank Martin uh, can definitely, you know, make Shakur, you know, uh, think in the ring. Uh, Frank Martin can be aggressive. His style can somewhat be like 
Errol Spence's and also another man, Derrick James Trains, is three time junior middleweight world champion, who's the undisputed junior middleweight world champion, top five pound for pound best fighters in the world, in Jamel Iron Man Charlo, right? Their style, Errol Spence style, Jamel Charlo style is eerie similar, and Frank Martin has started to gain more traction of that style. If you watch Frank Martin's fight a couple of fights ago, he wasn't fighting in this manner. And now he's starting to adopt the same style that Errol Spence and Jamel Charlo has. Right. Uh, so with that said, he can be physical, come forward and press Shakur Stevenson. But that kind of works in Shakur Stevenson's wheelhouse. That's what he likes you to do because he's a counter puncher. He's a slick defensive first fighter. Uh, and when you make mistakes, he'll make you pay. OK, uh, so if you look at the fight where um, where Frank Martin fought Kozeski, right, uh, his style was completely different when he fought uh, Romero Duno. And then he came back and fought Jackson Marina as Michelle Ali Rivera. He had a completely different style, which is the style of Errol Spence and Jamel Charlo. And so he's definitely, you know, um, starting to get comfortable with Derrick James's style of fighting and his approach to the sport. And so that approach works in the favor of a guy like Shakur Stevenson. He's not a mover uh, when you don't have to. He'll, he'll make you miss in the phone booth. He'll make you pay. He'll counter you. His defense is the best defense in boxing. He has the best percentage of hit and not get hit defense in the sport of boxing. So when you factor all those things in and the fact that Frank Martin, yes, he's 28. Uh, yes, he does have, you know, um, a ton, a ton of potential. But Shakur Stevenson, his abilities to adapt, his abilities to make adjustments. Those things are something that you need experience to be able to deal with Shakur Stevenson. Frank Martin has 17 fights in his career. Shakur Stevenson is a masterclass defensive counterpunch boxer who makes great adjustments. And he, too, is a southpaw. Right. So. Frank Martin is not going to have the edge in the southpaw advantage. He won't have the edge in uh, athletic ability. He will have the edge in, um, in, uh, in, in, in power. I think that Frank Martin has more power than Shakur, more natural raw power than Shakur Stevenson. Um, but that's where it ends. And so he don't have the edge in experience. And so I think that as, t as the fight unfolds and over time, Shakur Stevenson to start making Frank Martin pay in the pocket and with his distance and with his ability to make you miss. So I think that, you know, um, it would be a very entertaining fight. I don't know how much Frank Martin style can make Shakur Stevenson uncomfortable because Shakur Stevenson is quite comfortable in the ring. Uh, fighters that usually make fighters uncomfortable in the ring are usually guys that are very awkward very unorthodox, uh, very unpredictable, like Marcos El Machino Madonna. He made Floyd Mayweather, Adrian Broner. You know, he made the likes of those fighters uncomfortable. Uh, Ricardo Mayorga, they make you uncomfortable because they are unorthodox. They come from angles that you just shouldn't. Uh, when you're dealing with fighters like that, even Deontay Wilder, right? They, it's uncomfortable to deal with them because they come from angles that you can't predict. And, uh, but Frank Martin is more a technician. He's more of a skilled uh, technician, more of a, you know, um, traditional boxer puncher, you know, with athletic hand speed and foot speed and, you know, angles and things of that nature. High ring IQ. So I don't know if that style will make Shakur Stevenson uncomfortable in the ring. That's not a style that would make him uncomfortable. He would adapt quite quickly to what uh, Frank Martin is doing in the ring. And I don't think he'll be uncomfortable at all. Maybe the fact that Frank Martin is as athletic as he is, as explosive as he is, as slick, may not be as slick as Shakur, but he's definitely a slick fighter. He's a counter puncher. He has power. Maybe that is, and he is going to be Shakur looking in the mirror. Maybe that makes him uncomfortable. Something like when Zab Judah fought Floyd Mayweather. Zab Judah made Floyd Mayweather very uncomfortable in the first six rounds. Because of his hand speed, his athletic ability, his explosiveness, and, and his power, and him being a southpaw. But after a while, Flo Floyd Mayweather adjusted to what Zab Judah was doing, and he faded in the second half. 
So we have to see how this unfolds. But I don't think Frank Martin's style would make Shakur Stevenson uncomfortable, but it would be a very, very interesting fight. And I would love to see how it plays out. But as I said, there's some major hurdles to be um, leaped if this fight does come to fruition. But drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue signing off. I'm gone. Peace. Hey, Bumgarner. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Wow.